Well, welcome back. We start again. And we were in the book of Galatians 3 verse 13. And I just want to recap and tell you this. Jesus became a curse. Why? A curse on the cross. Why? It's your curse and my curse. He became that. Why? Because of verse 14. He says, excuse me, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. The purpose was that blessings can now reach us. God blesses us. God wants to bless you. But there's certain ways that he said you must confess Jesus as Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead. That's God's way. You see, God made a way for us. And in each house there's rules. I mean, here in this place where we make this recording, people mustn't climb through the window. They must come through the door. So Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the door. There's certain ways. You cannot jump and start here. <laughs> you cannot. You must first go this way. The cross, the burial, the resurrection. Okay. So the cross is there for your old man. Jesus became a curse. Now, how are you, how is this going to benefit you by receiving? Look at Romans chapter 5. And I want to show you the scripture. This is a beautiful, beautiful scripture. It makes so much sense. Look at this. For if by the one man's offense, death reigned. One man's offense, Adam, death reigned. So in this world, you will see death is reigning through this one man. But Jesus said, now when you hear, you are in this world, but you're not of this world. You see, you, you are born again, born from above. Okay, now it says here, for if by the one man's offense, death reigned through the one, through Adam, much more, those who receive, my friend, those who receive, not those who work, those who receive what has been done. Those who receive what has been done at the cross. What has been done to you at the burial. What has been done in the resurrection. Man, this excites me. I can't sit. I want to jump up and tell you this. It says, receive much more those who receive abundance of grace. Where's the grace? Jesus died for us while we were sinners. Jesus died for us, Romans 5, while we were without strength. Jesus died for us, still Romans 5, while we were enemies of God. Jesus died for the ungodly to tell them they are justified, Romans chapter 4. I, I tell you, that. Let me, let me read Romans 4, this is beautiful, verse 5. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. You see, the ungodly, not the God, godly person, the ungodly, Jesus justified. The one without strength. Let me read it to you, Romans 5, while I'm here. Verse uh, 6. For when we were still sinners, when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. How's that? For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Look at the next one, verse 9. Uh, yeah. Much more then, having now been justified, we shall be saved. For if when we were enemies of God, for if when we were enemies, verse 10, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son. Your reconciliation does not depend on you. It's what God has done. Now will you receive that reconciliation? It says, 
Much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Okay? So, what do we see? In Romans 5.17 again, it says, For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace. This is the abundance of Christ. For God so loved the whole world that He gave His Son. Abundance is enough for you. It says, We receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Hmm. The gift of right standing with Almighty God. That's amazing. You see, you're not in the right or wrong standing by your actions. You in wrong standing with God because of Adam's action. What you were born into. Now you are in right standing with God Almighty because of the one man which is also called the last Adam, Jesus. You in right standing with Almighty God, not because you do right, but because of your birth. Eh? Jason, our cameraman. That's beautiful. Huh? That's amazing. You are in right standing with God because you are born again righteous, son of God. That qualifies you. Now, your works, you want your works to be shown. You want your works to say to people, look how I'm living. You see, they want to see the fruit. And you want to see the fruit. And how will that happen when you receive? Look at this now. It says, uh, I'm going to read it from the beginning again. For if by the one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive, receive the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness, will reign in life. You see, you will reign in life as you receive this good news. As you start to say what God says about you. Oh, my friend, you will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. You will reign in life. Do you want to reign in life? Do you want to reign in life with God? Do you want to reign in union with God? The Father from whom all blessings flow. Do you want to reign with Him? Do you want to see your marriage working better? Do you want to see your relationship with your kids restored? Do you want to see your, you prosper? Whatever you, hand, you put your hand to, you prosper? Do you want to be able to leave a legacy for your children? I'm telling you, it's possible. It's possible by receiving, by receiving. I'm going to show you one more scripture in closing. Philemon. That's in Hebrew. Just before Hebrews is the book of Philemon. It says in 1 verse 6. Look at this. That the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. <laughs> so if you can acknowledge the work of God on the inside. As you've acknowledged here, the work of sin on the inside. That was easy. People can easily talk about sin and how sinful they are and what they have done and stuff like that. But now, your faith can grow in effect. It says, may come effectual. The sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you. In Christ Jesus. And we're going to look at that. Receive the implanted goodness. Christ in you. Which is able to save your soul. And will manifest outwardly. In your everyday life. God bless you.